Here, though, uh, G. If you're, if you're in from any other part of the country visiting right now, you, of course the weather is like this all the time. Spectacular. <laughs> and here's the best advice for the weekend. Look at that. Get some, near some water. Look at that. These people, in, there was no one in there before. I thought, this is such a crime, an empty pool. But now people have kind of trickled in. We won't spy on them any longer. Let's take a look at some temperatures. See if we cover them up. 88 degrees, uh, looking pretty good right now. And temperatures should top off the day in the 90s, as we expect. Or maybe even some areas just 90 degrees. So really, we're on the right trend for spectacular weather. We're six degrees warmer this time yesterday. Speaking of water, speaking of lakes, we didn't get to Lake Las Vegas yet, right? But we got to Lake Mead. 97 this weekend, 71 the water temperature. Pretty nice. Sunscreen, sunscreen, and more sunscreen still. Probably see a lot of sunshine, but we'll also get some cloud cover as well. What's developing is kind of what we've seen the past couple of days where we have maybe a little shower or even a thunderstorm over the mountains and some of that managed to maybe spray a little bit in uh, Summerlin, but that was about it. So we have that chance again, so we're going to talk about that. And you can see there's not really much activity anywhere, but we'll likely uh, throw that in for both Saturday and Sunday, at least the opportunity to maybe get a little more of this in. But we're watching whatever could come in as well offshore right now, but it won't take much to really get some more moisture in here and really get some more activity going. But that's not really the bigger story. It's all about the intense heat coming up. And it will be intense. We're adding more 100 to the forecast, but future cast showing cloud cover in for tomorrow. It doesn't put anything over the mountains, but I suspect there's still an opportunity. Not overnight, not in the morning hours, by the afternoon hours. You can see for Sunday afternoon, those chances increase. But yeah, when we talk about heat, we're talking about things getting a little intense. We'll show you that in just a moment. 98 Laughlin for tomorrow. You'll be 100 uh, for the end of the weekend. 90 Cal Nevere. I see uh, lower 90s for Sandy Valley. And look at the overnight lows, nicely in the 60s. So nice, mild conditions overnight. We're going to slowly work our way to the 70s for overnight lows. Over the mountains have the best chances of getting a shower, so we put it in for Mount Charleston. Not so much for other areas, but that's not impossible or inconceivable to squeeze out one of these showers in the valley, not meaning much for the valley at all. But either way, 92 mesquite, 67 overnight, and likely some more 90s continuing before we really start to push these numbers up. So lower 90s for tomorrow, decent day, enjoy it. Some clouds in the picture for the weekend. The remainder of the weekend, 93, stray mountain storm, but it's next week. Should I just pull that curtain away right now and let you see what it looks like? It looks like that. Each panel we add, we keep adding another 100 degree temperature plus, how about 104 by the end of next week? So the warmest temperatures of the season, of the year, are arriving next week. Several days worth and each day will topple the one before. Back to you, Steve. I, I was thinking 